Hi, I'm Christopher. Through my company, Care Chooser, I help people with elderly parents find consistent home care. Do share this video if you'd like to. If you watch live or on the replay, then leave me a message below, otherwise I've no way of knowing that you've watched. So, I used the Alzheimer's Society's fairy light analogy to explain dementia in my video last week, so I'm going to start with that again. So remember, dementia is a physical disease of the brain. So just like we can get disease or a disease of the heart or the lungs, we can also get disease in the brain. And remember, dementia is not just about losing our memory. So, imagine that the brain is like a string of fairy lights. And when you have dementia, some of the lights may start to dim or flicker or may go out. And depending on which fairy light it is that flickers or which part of the brain is affected, this will determine which bodily function is affected by the dementia. So that could be memory, sight, hearing, movement, or other functions. So today, I want to share another dementia analogy with you, the bookcase analogy. So how does dementia affect me? Imagine that I am 80 years old. There is a full bookcase beside me, and each book represents a memory or fact from my life. My top shelf holds very recent books and memories, such as what I had for breakfast this morning. By my shoulders is another shelf from my 60s and it holds memories such as my retirement party. By my knees, I know you can't see that, sorry, are books from my 20s. And by my feet are books holding memories from my school, uh, from, sorry, from my childhood, such as going to school. Now, dementia rocks the bookcase from side to side. What will happen to the books and the memories? They will start falling off. And where will they start to fall off from first? from the top. So as dementia progresses, my upper shelves will start to empty. And so what I may think as my most recent memories may come from further down my bookcase or earlier in my life. If only books that are still firm or on a lower shelf from when I was in my 20s, I may think that I'm living in the 1950s. Now this could cause some problems. For example, when I'm making tea, I may put the electric kettle on the hob. So you as my care or family member may replace my electric kettle with a hob kettle to help. So from what I've said so far, you may think that a person that's living with dementia loses everything. But actually, I've only showed you one part of the brain, the factual bookcase or the hippocampus, which holds the facts, names, it holds numbers, dates, faces. Now, this bookcase is very flimsy and probably from Ikea and poorly constructed. But there is another part of the brain which you can picture as a separate bookcase on this side. Now this is the emotional bookcase and it represents the amygdala part of the brain. This manages, this manages my emotions and my feelings. Now this bookshelf is rock solid and made of oak. It's more resistant to dementia and its contents will be safer for longer. Now, for every book that's on my factual dementia bookcase, there's a corresponding book on my emotional bookcase. For example, um, my school book, my school memories. This side I have a, a book, a factual book of my school memories. And on this side, I have the feelings of being inspired by a teacher. Now, if you come to visit me, and we have a row because I forgot your name, I may feel angry and upset. And you may think that it doesn't matter because I'll forget about it. And I will. I will forget about the argument, but the feelings of anger and sadness will stay. Now, you come to visit me on another day, and we go to the beach and have an ice cream. I may forget about the ice cream, and eventually I will forget about the whole day out. And you may think that you won't come to visit me again because I'll forget. But... What stays with me? The happy emotions and feelings. So this is why we encourage anyone who knows someone living with dementia to continue to visit them and help them to live well because they will remember the feelings of love and happiness on the emotional bookcase. Okay, so I'm going to be doing another live shortly, so keep an eye out for that. If you liked the message, um, then share it out and leave me a comment if you're watching. And if you know someone who may need a carer, then let them know about me and about Care Chooser. And I'll see you next time.